Donald Trump Jr., along with his daddy and his brothers and sisters, really the whole Trump family, are in massive legal trouble right now on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. We already know about the Trump organization charges and how the company, along with CFO Alan Weisselberg, have been charged criminally. But now there are calls. There's a new pushed investigation into holdings by Trump and Trump Jr. and Weisselberg in Scotland, particularly around the Trump golf courses. And on both sides of the Atlantic, there's a real push to use mafia-related laws to go after Trump Jr. and Trump and the whole Trump criminal syndicate. Because again, this is crucial. When you're going after people like Trump and Trump Jr., these high-ranking executives, people that are heads of alleged criminal families, you often have to use laws designed to target organized crime, right? Because fundamentally, these people often have underlings do the dirty work for them, and they're planning it, and they're benefiting from it, and they're organizing it, but their fingerprints, literally and figuratively, may not be on any scenes of the crime. So you need special laws which require special permission to use to go after criminal kingpins like the Trumps. And so in Scotland right now, there's a real sense that the golf clubs are evading taxes or under-reporting their earnings. And there's an investigation that may open up into that. And it's connected to the Trump organization stuff by virtue of the fact that Weitzelberg and Trump Jr. are listed as significant people at that company, the holding company for the golf courses in Scotland. I want to read this to you. Mr. Weisselberg's professional involvement with the Trump Organization's two golf courses in Scotland. According to documents from Companies House, he was removed from his position at Trump International Golf Club Scotland, one of the holding companies. However, according to other ho company house documents, Mr. Weisselberg is still listed as a quote-unquote person of significant control alongside Donald Trump Jr. at Golf Recreation Scotland, a separate holding company. So you can see See what's happening here. The Trump organization is really just a, an umbrella company of hundreds of smaller companies that do things for the Trump family. Everything from their hotels to their golf courses to their condos and everything in between. And now we're emerging at a point where there's a real effort in the United States and maybe even internationally to look at this like a criminal organization. And when you do that, you really put the screws to the Trumps because now you do not need direct proof that they directly committed a crime, but that if the organization has a criminal culture, then the people that lead the organization, whether it's Trump Sr. or Trump Jr. or Eric, or at least in the recent past, Ivanka, they could all be found criminally guilty as well. So this is awful news for Trump and his loser children. This could get them thrown behind bars or at the very least drawn into a deeply revealing investigation. It's an awful day for Trump Jr. and the rest of them.